It's about to be fall in New Mexico and those green chili roasters are firing up. And so do the Zazobra sewing machines. We still work with the same frames. The interesting thing about Zazobra is he has the same solid form that he's had for now the 96 years, but it really turns to the artist that is creating Zazobra. That's Jacob Romero, the lead designer of Zazobra. Look at all the fabric that goes into this. His head is massive. All that hair is shredded paper. Here's a peek at the back of the head. That wood frame took a lot of time to shape. The construction and staging of Zazobra is quite an action packed effort. It's a labor intensive affair requiring more than 3500 volunteer hours put in by Kiwanis Club members and enthusiastic volunteers, some of whom have been involved with Zazobra for years. Matt Horowitz is the construction chair. Um, we've got uh, lawyers and doctors and and um, teenagers. So you get people that are priests and <laughs> and, and uh, you name it. But this time, because of the pandemic, the process has changed. We're doing the same thing we would normally do, but we're just doing it in little pieces, a little bit by bit, to make sure that people are safe. For a long time, it was maybe about two or three weeks, and this year we're taking about three months to do it. And uh, that's because of the pandemic and because we can't have more than small groups of people working at the at any one given time. Zazobra is a well crafted framework of milled lumber covered with dozens of rolls of chicken wire and more than 70 yards of cotton cloth. It'll be strung up on a 55 foot pole with a 12 foot crossbar. Zazobra's head and sections of his insides are laced with explosives. The steel wires attached to his arms, head and mouth allow his movements to be manipulated from the ground by a group of skilled animators. You kind of can't help but feel like a little kid, right? You have this 50 foot marionette and you have a cord that you just naturally want to pull on, right? You have a, a bolt on the arm that gives the arm its simple up and down motion. So it takes a good crew of four people to pull that solid arm all the way up. And because gravity's working against it, it comes down pretty heavy. Zazobra right now remains motionless until darkness falls, then it all begins. As he burns down, so will all of our gloom. In our heads, we'll be chanting. I think that in a year like this, where so many people are really hurting, it's gonna, it means a lot. Or maybe this year, burn COVID down. Through the years, Zazobra got taller and taller. The first Zazobra the public was able to watch burn was about 20 feet tall, and over the years, he grew. Since 1989, he's measured at 50 feet 6 inches, setting a world record in 2007 as the tallest marionette. But the record only lasted a year after being beat by a puppet in Canada measuring 58 feet 5 and a half inches tall.